I auctioned off my services as a chef to the local public school and offered a class called Cooking with Tweens. I explained to them what we were going to make and the first thing is to gather all the ingredients. The next step is to read the directions. Okay. Heat tofu in saucepan with two cups of water. Okay. The first thing we were going to make is the chocolate mousse because that needed to go in the refrigerator to set. So heat the silken tofu in two cups of water on a medium to high heat until it boils. Let it boil for about three minutes. And then it says strain with a, with a sieve, then put in it into a blender. Okay. Strain the tofu over the sink using a strainer or a sieve. Then pour it into the blender. Now add one bag of chocolate chips or two cups. You can use dark or milk chocolate. Add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You may need to add a couple tablespoons of milk or soy milk to keep the blender moving. Then pour it into serving cups and chill for at least one okay, so hour. Put this in the fridge, and that way when we're all done. Now we're gonna make cheese enchiladas. Preheat your oven to 350 and wrap six tortillas in foil and place it in the oven to heat. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut the onion in half. Having good knife skills is essential in the kitchen. A knife is gonna work for you. It's almost like let it swing, glide through it. After a quick knife lesson, we went on to make the sauce. Heat a tablespoon of oil and a pinch of red hot pepper flakes in a medium pan on medium heat. Add your chopped onions and stir. When they're golden brown and caramelized, turn off the heat and put the onions in the blender. Then bring four cups of water to a boil and core your tomatoes. Use the tip of a knife to core your tomato. Peel the garlic and add four tomatoes and the garlic to boiling water carefully. This is the time to add a hot pepper if you like it spicy. Yeah. Remove as much of the skin as you can before putting the tomatoes in the blender. Add a little bit of the cooking water to the sauce. Yeah, just like a cup, yeah, keep going. Like, the, you know, that's going to be our flavor. Add about a half a teaspoon of salt. You can always add some more later after you've tasted it. Blend the enchilada sauce until smooth. And then give it a little taste. Try it, just take a spoon and give it a try and put together your enchilada making station, having your sauce, your cheese, your tortillas, and any other fillings. You'll also need a pan to put the enchiladas in. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna dip it in here. It's a little warm, so be careful. Try not. I'm gonna lay it here. Take some cheese, and we're gonna go like that. At this point, if you wanted to put anything you want in here, ve vegetable, like if there had already some cooked vegetables or mushrooms, some people like chicken in here, like some people like shrimp or a pepper, anything you want, this is the time you put it in the middle. We're gonna roll it up like this, and then we're gonna place it right here. Good. Each of the girls took a turn in making their own cheese enchilada. Little cheese. I shouldn't use the food, it's like... Eight, good. Like an art project. Good. After we rolled them up, we put them all in the pan, and then it was time to pour the enchilada sauce on top. Squish it around. But it's fine. Spread the sauce evenly in the pan and then sprinkle cheese on top. Place it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes until the cheese melts. I like to serve this with avocado and toasted pumpkin seeds. Afterwards, we all sat down and ate the food that they had made. They made spaghetti with a tomato sauce, they made kung pao chicken and cheese enchiladas, and of course that delicious chocolate mousse. When one of the girl's mothers came to pick her up, she almost started crying because she had never seen her daughter eat a tomato. Wait, oh, yes, I remember my question. Okay, what? Uh -huh. <sighs> we wanted to see ourselves on YouTube, but we search. You're on YouTube now. I hope you enjoy the show.